Hey y'all, this is Salman Rambling, and I'm back for another episode of Goner. I've practiced a little bit with the daily challenge, so I've learned a little bit more, and hopefully we make progress. As I said in my last video, that is the goal of this entire series, is that I don't do the same thing ad nauseum. But let's get to it. To give a date to the day I'm doing this, this is right before Nintendo's E3 presentation. So I'm excited for good news and learning all about what they have to actually make us want to play the Switch for the upcoming months. There's a lot of information about uh, all the stuff that's come with rumors and speculation. I'm trying to think of the specific... Oh, Fortnite. That's the one. Uh, supposedly it's coming out tomorrow, which would have been a really nifty surprise even though we knew it was coming for a while now. But to have it come out immediately the day of is pretty nifty. Now that that's ruined by speculation, that kind of sucks. And so if it doesn't come out tomorrow, we'll all be disappointed. And if it does, we're all like, yeah, that's about right. So, yeah, you take what you get. There's part of me that wants to make a rumor-free website that doesn't even provide the speculation. But with Reddit and how it is and other websites... I don't know the popularity of a website that doesn't provide information. The whole point of speculation, or what news in general, is to provide that kind of information. I guess not. Who knows? I know I'm just too lazy to compile all the news articles that don't feature rumors or spoilers or anything like that. I do feel like I may have to avoid the internet for some time with it with Smash Brothers coming out, because I really do not want to know the character roster before it is actually revealed. I remember the days when there was actually new characters, when I heard that Game & Watch was a character in Melee, I learned it from Nintendo Power of all things, and that was really exciting. Or to suddenly unlock a character in the original Super Smash Bros. 64 was also pretty spiffy. Because you didn't know who else there was. Captain Falcon was totally foreign to me. I didn't know what F-Zero was to begin with. But to see him in the game suddenly appear, that was cool. Uh, but with like the Wii U version, we knew all the characters going in. And there wasn't really a surprise at all. And that yeah, can be good and bad. I know with a lot of games these days, we, a lot of people don't necessarily want to unlock characters. They want the characters there from the get-go, so that way they, way they can play with their favorite character. But I love me some unlockables, so I'm not with that party. We'll see. Reddit is my lifeblood, and I don't really want to give it up for God knows how long it will take for Smash Bros. to come out. It's not... Terrible. It didn't spoil Infinity War for me, which was very exciting. It took me like four weeks to finally see that movie, and I did. And I won't spoil it here, but if you saw it, you know what I mean in terms of spoilers. There is spoilerific journeys ahead. Well, there. That was a rather, you know, unexciting first floor. Floor, stage, whatever you want to call it. Oh, that's scary. Okay, please give me ammo. Oh, I got ammo somehow. Okay. See, I'm gonna get this point. I can do it. Oop. That was close, see? I do feel confident. I beat that guy first try, no damage whatsoever. I did learn what that floating skull does. So it's nice that the game rewards you either way, whether you have hearts or not. So I get an expanded ammo belt here, but if you don't have that, you have to take hearts that gives you a little floating skull. What that skull does is when you fall apart, it grabs your head, then your weapon, then your special for you. That way, you're not too long without your items, and you can theoretically hide in a corner rather than going across enemies and risking your life. Um, I think that's a nifty mechanic. I never will use it considering this guy stays with his body. But, you know what, if I ever choose otherwise, uh, that'll be nice. That one was a tricky one. Let's keep going. I've learned now that it's better not to hold grudges. Purple things are good, and like, I should have enough by the time I do actually die that I don't nearly need to focus them on too much. That's my current mentality. I know my last video was entirely different, but you know. I'm a flexible human being. I have a wide variety of opinions. If they change, screw you. Um, let's get to it. Oh, 
like set my special for accidentally. I really do gotta use that more often, not just during boss fights. Heck, I don't even use it during the second boss fight. I only use it during the first. That's me. I have the same problem with grenades. Whether it's a first person shooter or something like Splatoon, I never use that special, which is an awful thing to do. Not a good habit. Learn it from me, Solomon Rambling. So, I've played this game enough by now that I still enjoy it, but I, I guess I am yearning for that progress. Beforehand, I was okay with the idea of just experiencing the game, but when I, uh, uh, when I don't make it far enough, I guess I get a little irked. I gotta be better. That's what I want to see. I'm also slowly being able to develop opinion on this game, not to the point where I can write a review, but I'm able to notice what I don't like. Ugh. One of those is how you take damage. I think it'd be really nice if there was a momentary time of invincibility. That's very common in games. You get hit once and you have like maybe a second or half a second of time to recoup yourself and get away from danger before you can take damage again. It's I guess it was jarring in this game, and it's in present in other games, but it's not common. Oh, that guy blew up on me. So, with this one, like, as I've said before, if you're in a spot where you could die and you get hit, it could be the end, especially if you're just in a total cluster of enemies. So, that's annoying. I would definitely add that invincibility. Maybe it makes the game easier, but I don't think it's going to be that noticeable of a difference to really warrant pitchforks and axes if people don't like it. Okay, we made it to the second boss, Cow Creature. I think I've beaten it a whopping three times now. Okay, I, oh, oh my god, I'm sorry. I did not mean to shoot you there. I hope that doesn't have consequences. I wonder what happens if you do kill him. Hmm, will that unlock something? Uh, I should do that to death. Okay, whoa, focus Solomon. No time to sit willy-nilly and do nothing. Let's get... Oh, jeez. Well, one thing I gotta remember is that guy poops out enemies. For some reason, I've been playing this game multiple times, and I still haven't caught on to the fact that that guy does not let up when you shoot him. The cow is a fighter. He'll fight back gotta survive in this dangerous world of things that don't kill them. Is there, is there really any threats? Why are these creatures aggressive? Do they fight amongst each other? Or is it just me? Is that, am I like the constant scourge that they have to prepare and get ready for? I have no ammo. I have no ammo. I have a special though that I keep forgetting to use. Uh, uh, just die. Thank you. Oh jeez. I don't have to use that special. I have to say, I'm expertly dodging these bullets. Don't jinx yourself. There we go. Aha! Oh, I ran out of ammo again? Jeez. That time I used my special, and look what it got me. Nothing. Yes, I killed one of you. That's what you get, gun. I can't kill you. You're... Cow, you've become more of a formidable opponent as we've battled. Not today. That, that was dangerous right there. I killed you, but your guns kept shooting. Don't they know that once you've died, the collective mind hive dies with it? You did not follow the rules. Very disappointed in you, great sea cow. Okay, yeah, I know you're not doing well. Give me that skull that I'm never going to use. Give me hearts. You didn't give me ammo. I hate you, whale friend. Can't you give me more? No, you don't give me more. You suck. That was probably a little loud. I apologize. As I learned from watching my previous videos, I still don't know how to modulate my voice. Screaming and mumbling don't really pick up on videos. Well, screaming picks up very, very well, but it's not pleasant for the ears for anybody. Mumbling, whereas, is just very quiet, and the music then starts to get louder, and then you just miss out all my wondrous commentary. Oh, God. That was dangerous right there. Now the purple things are getting in the way of my battling. Purple things, how dare you betray me. The turnips do not hurt me, contact damage wise, I don't believe. I'm still not ready to take the damage and just be like, let's try it out. But, am I la- Oh, 
Oh, jeez. No, don't die. I want to get farther than just the first white stage. Okay. This is already better than the second, the last video. But anyway, back to my original point. Is you gotta speak in a firm voice. You gotta pretend that this is theater. Speak in a consistent tone, otherwise people are not gonna like your performance, especially if you do a really shitty proper British accent. <gasps> that was one cuss word. I really don't know why I'm worried about monetization at this time. It's not like I'm gonna go back and monetize these videos if I ever do make it big. I believe that my professional videos will one day be monetized, but not this like early rookie stuff. Whoa, that was dangerous. Okay, we should be able to get this guy rather easily. We're gonna play it safe for now. It's the boring thing to do. It is played it safe. I like it. I'm gonna keep jumping on these guys as long as they don't hurt me. Those jumping guys have shown an aptitude for learning how to get me. Right there. That's okay. I got another continue. I doubt that I'll have one more chance. So let's make the most of this life. You're singing even after I like mercilessly shot you. Dude, you're an amazing shopkeeper. Way better than the Enter the Gungeon guy. You shoot once in his shop and he freaks out. Okay. Play it safe, like we said before I die. Kill the snail. You. I have a newfound respect and hatred for you jumping. Oh, I should have. Jesus. This is what I'm talking about when I need a moment of in invincibility, because that is bull crap. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, we're gonna experiment. What? What do they do? Oh, wondrous. I don't understand why that's important, but mystery solved, folks. You almost dodged into that song. Oh, that one you didn't see coming. Well, that was utter garbage. What did I do? Did I say go visit death? I did. This gives a little music. Why not? Let's, come on, help me death. No, I don't want that. I want that. Bring it to me. I give you a happy emoji. Now, we're not going to actually try for points right now. We're just going to try to shoot people that we should generally be friends with. Bam. That's right. This is going to be like the cuckoos? No. Okay, he doesn't care. Let's keep going. Let's go balls to balls crazy. Totally different layouts. And yeah, we're going to take that one. Even though that hurts me a lot. Pause. Hammer time. That's what we're going to do. Let's see how far we can get. I really don't like rocket launchers, but we're going to get good at it. It's good to be diverse in your abilities. Bam. So, I will blame my loss on the problem with the game, which is I need more invincibility time. Well, I need a invincibility time, because otherwise I will just die haphazard deaths. That's not very exciting. It reminds me, oh, my old bullet did that feel betrayed. It feels a lot like Neurovoider, which is also on the Nintendo Switch. That game is good. I also agree it's good. It's best when you have two other people playing with you so everyone can beat every body type. It's roguelite, but your robots, it's kind of like a twin stick shooter. Um, but that game too is one of those that you're not going to die a slow death. You're going to die abruptly and it's going to feel like it's not fair. Oh, did I just run into my own bullet again? Learn, Solomon. But, whereas with Isaac, it's going to be a long, drawn-out process. Neurovoider, you typically died at the boss, and you're like, what the heck can I do? I felt like I was rocking it the entire time. And that can be disappointing, because it fell out of your control. That's another case with something like Don't Starve, where you have to survive, and suddenly you're gangbanged by 50 different monsters after you spent three hours on a single map. You die, and you have to start all over with none of your resources whatsoever. That can get frustrating. So... It's not necessarily as egregious here in Goner, but 
and again, I have noticed those instances that once you die, it's hard to recover. And I can't imagine what it's like when you don't have your head and the rest of your body to work with in those high intensity situations. This is a game meant to be played quickly. And so if you can't even play quickly, oh goodness, rocket launcher, you are not meant for close quarters. Where's my gun? It's all the way up there. What the heck? And there's Sonics. They can hurt. Oh! Just... Am I even going to get to the shopkeep? That's the question. That was the whole point of this. To test it out. All I know is that rocket launcher is not for me. We have nixed that out. This is not going to be a series where I try to win with every weapon. I think there's a crap ton of heads still, judging by the size of that tree. And there was one I played with the new daily that was pretty nifty. It was just a flaming head. Don't know what the heck it did. My assumption is it upped my power. It's because I started off with the basic pea shooter that doesn't seem super powerful, but it was able to do some damage. Again, I haven't used that pea shooter in forever, so who knows if it's actually as was souped up or not. Okay. I missed my shotgun. I don't care about you, dude. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay, here we go. Shopkeep? I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't want to buy that. Die. Die. You're a very passive shopkeep. I don't like you. I'm going to go to my death. I have no health and no items, but I have paws. And so... You know what? We're gonna do that. Yeah. Up. <laughs> there you go. The inevitable happened. We're not surprised. Just like if Fortnite releases tomorrow. And that will be it for this video. And so, well, bye.